in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the mobile phone. Now, before you start to model this phone, you will need to copy and paste the image of the phone screen from the school network into your folder. Your teacher will show you how to do that. To begin modelling the phone, first of all, click New from the top left hand corner of the screen. Ensure you've got Metric selected. And in the Part menu, make sure you've selected Standard MM and then click Create. We're going to create a sketch to begin with. So go to the top left hand corner and click on the Create Sketch icon. From the three work planes you're given, select the this one here, the XZ plane. Now, at this stage, to make this first part a bit easier for you, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this view so we're looking at the correct way around. If I move the mouse to the top right-hand corner of the screen, we've got this view cube. I want to be able to read the word top from left to right. So I'm going to click on this left arrow here. Now I can read this word correctly, uh, which means that this is going to be orientated correctly, which will make the next part of this much easier. To start with this, I'm going to draw a rectangle. So I'm going to move the mouse to the rectangle button. And I'm going to start drawing the rectangle from the yellow dot in the middle of the screen. So move the mouse to there. It will lock to there. You can see that. It snaps to the center there. So left click once to begin, move the mouse and left click again. It doesn't matter how big you make this rectangle at this stage because we're about to dimension it. So to dimension it to the correct size, move the cursor to the dimension button and left click it. The height of this rectangle is going to be set at 145. So press enter after you've entered that. And the width of the rectangle is going to be set to 71. Now that we've done this, we're ready to finish the sketch, so we'll click on the Finish Sketch button. You can see that when it's been brought back into the 3D view, it's gone off the screen. So to make this fit on the screen, double click the middle mouse button. OK, we're going to extrude this rectangle to make it solid. So we're going to move the mouse to the Extrude button and select it. In the distance box here, we're going to enter seven millimeters. Then click OK. OK, the next thing we're going to do with this is we're going to enter a charging port on this face here. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the Start Sketch button and then select that face. I'm going to roll the middle mouse button toward me so I can see it a little bit larger. And then I'm going to click the rectangle tool. And then I'm going to draw a small rectangle inside that face. Again, at this stage it should be any size because we're going to dimension it next. So to dimension this, we'll move the mouse to the dimension tool. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the left hand side of that rectangle. You'll see that it turns white. And the left hand side of the larger rectangle. Then if I move the mouse down, I can have the size. And I want to set this size to 32. The width of the rectangle should be set to 7. And the distance from the bottom of the small rectangle to the bottom of the larger rectangle should be set to 2. And the height of the rectangle should also be set to 2. At this stage, I've finished the sketch, so I'm going to move the mouse to the Finish Sketch button and click it. And then I'm going to zoom into this sketch I've just created to make the next step a little bit easier. What I want to do is I want to extrude this rectangle into the block to subtract material. So I'm going to move the cursor to the Extrude button and select it. I'm going to drag this out the way of this part of the drawing, first of all, and I'm going to select this small rectangle. At the moment, it's coming out the way in the wrong direction. So I'm going to first of all change the direction. You can see at the moment direction 1 is selected. I'm going to select direction 2. 
You can see how this has moved the extrusion into the block and it automatically subtracts material. I want to set the distance to this to be an 8 and then I'm going to click OK. Then if I zoom out by rolling the mouse, middle mouse button away from me, I can see what I've done there. We're now going to put the power and volume buttons on to the right hand side of the mobile phone. To do that, click on the Start Sketch button in the top left hand corner and then select this side. I can't see the right hand side of this, so I'm going to have to pan the view along. To pan the view along, click and hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse, in this case, to the left hand side. I then want to zoom in to this part of the view here, so I'm going to roll the middle mouse button toward me. The power button and volume button consists of two rectangles, so I'm going to sketch two rectangles onto these areas. So the rectangle button is here, I'm going to uh, sketch one rectangle, again any size, it makes no difference at this stage, and then the next rectangle. Now, when you sketch this rectangle, you'll see that there are lines appear coming from here. Now, I've not clicked anything, but you can see there are guidelines from the first rectangle I've sketched. To make this part a bit easier for you, make sure that when you click first to start drawing the second rectangle, that this line here is in line with the smaller rectangle. And when you finish sketching, ensure that the bottom of the rectangle is also in line with the smaller rectangle. Now that I've sketched both rectangles, I'm going to dimension them. So I'm going to click on the dimension tool at the top. And I'm going to start with the right hand side of the large rectangle. You'll see that that goes white. And then the right hand side of this second rectangle is sketched. And I want to set that size to 18. The length of this rectangle here needs to be set to 23. The distance from the left hand side of this rectangle and the right hand side of this rectangle should be 9. So when, I, when this line turns white, and this one turns white, select them and set this size to 9. And then the length of this rectangle here should be 5. Next, we're going to dimension uh, how distance is from here to here. So when this goes white, select it. This one goes white, select it. Move the mouse downward and enter 2 here. You'll see that um, because we have linked those sizes before when we were doing the sketching, this one has already moved down. And we should see a similar thing when we dimension the height of this rectangle, and this should be 2. You should notice that both rectangles have also changed to 2 millimeters. That's all the dimensioning required for this sketch, so I'm going to click on the Finish Sketch button. And then I'm going to zoom into this part a bit closer so that the next bit's a bit easier to do. So the next thing is to extrude both of these rectangles outward. So I'm going to click on the Extrude button. You can see that this menu is in the way, so I'm going to drag it over. You drag it by left-clicking the mouse, holding the left mouse button down and moving the mouse over the screen. I want to select both of these rectangles. So select this one first and then the smaller one. And I want to change the size of this extrudes to to be one millimetre. So in the distance box, I'm going to enter 1 there. Once I've done that, I'm going to click OK. And that's the volume and power buttons added. Before I start the next part, I'm going to make sure that this view fits the screen. So to do that, I'm going to double click the middle mouse button. And the next part of this is to add a fillet to the upright corners of the phone. So. I'm going to select the fillet button from the top of the screen. And the first thing I'm going to do is enter the radius what I want for this, and that is 5 millimetres. I'm then going to select the four upright corners of the phone. So you can see that they turn white when you select them, or move them out. So you can see that they turn white when you move the mouse over them. And when they do turn white, left click on them. You'll see that this light blue then shows you a preview of it. So I want that, I want this one here, and this one here. I also want the one at the back corner. Now it's difficult to see this one, so the easiest thing to do here is to spin your view around. To spin this view around, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, then press and hold the middle mouse button, 
and then move the mouse downward and you should see this spinning round. Now it's easy for me to see this corner here and I can select it. I've now selected all four of these corners, so I'm happy with this. I've finished this part. I'm going to click Apply. The next I'm going to do is I'm going to fillet the top and bottom edges of this phone. Now I want to change the radius before I do this, and I want to change the radius to 1. So I move the mouse to here, click on it, and press 1 on the keyboard. I'm then going to move the mouse to the top um, edge first, and it will see it turns white. And then the bottom edge here. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click Apply. And now I've finished doing all my fillets, so I'm going to click Cancel. Before I move on to the next part of this, I'm going to spin this view around so I can see the top, front and right hand side edges. So again, to spin it as a reminder, press and hold the Shift key, press and hold the middle mouse button, and in this time, move the mouse upward and you can see it spinning around there. I'm happy with that view there, so I'm going to leave it there. And then I'm going to double click my middle mouse button to auto fit this to the screen. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a decal to the front screen of this phone. And at this stage, we're going to use the image that you've already moved from the school network into your drive. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click the Start Sketch button and then select the top face of the phone. Now for this part, it's much better again if you can rotate this face around so you're looking at it upright. So to do that, you'll remember this from before. Move the mouse to the top right hand corner of the screen to this view box and click on this left arrow here. To add an image to this, we click on the image tool at the top of the screen here. At this stage, you'll be able to find your technical folder by clicking on this arrow here and navigating your way to your technical folder on your part of the network. If you don't know how to do this, ask your teacher for help. When you've found your technical folder, select the phone screen that you've copied across and then click Open. Here's the screen here, a preview of it in this rectangle. So I'm going to move this screen to somewhere around about this top corner here. I'm going to, I've zoomed in to make it a bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. I'm going to overlap the screen slightly and put it in place. I'm going to zoom out again so you can see what's happened. So there's the phone screen in here. And if I move the mouse about here, you can see if I do more clicks, it'll add more screens. Now, I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to press the Escape key on my keyboard. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to resize this image of the phone to make it fit the phone. So if you move your mouse to the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see that there's a little dot appears. Just here. Click and hold that and drag the phone screen to the right. Once you've resized this, you can then move this image around until it completely covers the front of the phone. You can play about with this until you get it exactly the way you want it. Once you've fitted the image to the correct size, covering the front face of the phone, move the mouse to the top right hand corner and click Finish Sketch. What we're then going to do is apply this as a decal. So we're going to select the decal button from the top of the screen. The first thing Inventor asks us to do is select the image itself. So move the mouse over this image and click. The next thing we have to do is select the face. So we move the mouse to the top of the phone. You can see this white line around the top of the phone tells us that that's that face that's been selected. So if I click there, it then allows us to click the OK button here. So I'm going to select that. And that's me added the decal to the phone. Now it may be that your first image is too large and you might see some of the image coming down the side of your phone. If that happens, then you can move the mouse to the modeling three on the left hand side of the screen. You can select this arrow here, come to the sketch that's here, right click on it, edit the sketch and then resize this original image to make it a little smaller in order that that doesn't happen to you.
When you're happy with what you've done, save your work. To save this, move the mouse to the File tab in the top left corner and select it. Select Save As, and then save your work into your technical folder in the network. If you don't know how to do this, ask your teacher for help.